Developing tonight, CMPD arrested the man at the center of a SWAT situation that ended with tear gas and rendered an East Charlotte home unlivable. 19 year old Trey McClendon had multiple outstanding warrants and was believed to be in the house that was damaged but wasn't. Lana Harris joins us now with what happened and why the occupants are getting lawyers involved. What was described as really intense moments out here. We know that CMPD SWAT team spent hours trying to get the suspect out of this home here, and you can see all the damage that the house sustained in the process. Now, the family told CMPD that the suspect was not in the house and that none of this was warranted, but CMPD said that this was a matter of public safety. This is not 1920. This is 2020. Corrine Mack with the Charlotte NAACP was horrified at the way the home the London family rented was treated. This makes no sense that we're standing here this morning to talk about a house that was preyed upon by people who took a vow to protect and serve. CMPD SWAT team forcibly entered and tear gassed the home looking for 19 year old Trey McClendon, who was believed to be inside. Well, it was about a nine hour standoff with people on bullhorn shouting at an empty house. Dominique Cam, the family's lawyer, says they even tried giving officers the keys to go check inside. The keys were literally placed in their hand and we don't understand why they decided to bring tanks out. Rob Tufano with CMPD says SWAT was called because of McClendon's criminal history, which included multiple felony warrants for violent offenses. The violent criminal history is just uh, uh, obscene. Uh, no officer is just going to walk in with a set of keys. Tufano says McClendon had been arrested at that house before, and officers had intel that he was back, so the tear gas was used to get him out peacefully. Uh, it's a less physical way of getting a suspect to surrender. Uh, it's certainly a lot safer than officers actually having to go in there and physically encounter a violent suspect. But McClendon was not in the house, and Cam says the force wasn't warranted. So we would like to sit down and talk with them and ask that they make this right by some different policy changes. Tufano says officers did what they could to arrest the violent offender. We have to take every precaution necessary to ensure that he comes out peacefully without hurting himself, without hurting officers, or worse yet, without hurting any community members. CMPD tells us that they are going to take the responsibility of paying for the damages to the house and says that their risk management department has made contact with the homeowners to start that process. Here in Charlotte, I'm Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte.